Welcome to edition 800 of the Ask Leo newsletter, aka Confident Computing. I wanted to, well, I wanted to change something up this week and actually record my intro rather than just sort of typing out some words on a screen somewhere. Um, our featured article this week is it Pays to be Skeptical. And I've resurrected that one a little bit sooner than normal, mostly because of the a coronavirus pandemic that we're all basically faced with right now. There is so much misinformation out there, so much that is essentially just wrong, not to mention the scammers and spammers that are out there that are trying to take advantage of the situation and get you to part with your hard earned hard earned money when you need it the most for many people. I know that a lot of families are struggling with some of the restrictions that have been put in place. And now is not the time to be giving your attention or your money away uh, to someone who doesn't have your best interests at heart. So it pays to be skeptical. Have a look at that one. As you know, I've certainly not been shy about talking about the new computer that I have. What one of the articles that I picked for this week is the first eight things to do with your new computer. The articles so far have been focused pretty much on what I do, and I certainly get that I'm an edge case. The first eight things to do with your computer is really all about what you should be considering when you fire up that new computer for the first time. Why does email I send fail, but reply works discusses a surprisingly common problem where literally people can't email someone else unless that someone else emails them first and they hit reply. One works, the other doesn't. There's a subtle but very important difference that most people run into when they're encountering that situation. And finally, can a thumb drive carry malware? The short answer, absolutely, yes. And there are some steps that you should be taking to make sure your thumb drives, whenever you pick them up from somewhere, are as clean as possible so that you don't inadvertently infect yourself or cause someone else to get malware from a thumb drive that you happen to be using. Last week on the TEH podcast, Gary and I talked about, well, basically health crises, technology opening up a window, um, and complaining how much dirty stuff we touch. It's amazing. Uh, I think we're all starting to realize just how often we touch our own faces. It's really, really difficult not to do. Uh, so check out TEH podcast number 89, episode number 89 out at tehpodcast.com. As always, thank you for being here. Thank you for reading. Thank you for putting up with my little introductory video. I hope this is interesting and if it's useful to you. Uh, take care, everyone, and I will talk to you again next week.